So now that we have our blank project ready for our meta human, we're going to look at creating that. So you can go to meta human creator. Second one down will take you straight to the page where you can start the meta human creator, launch the app. This might take a sec to load up. So once you are in here, you will have um, probably won't have any in here yet uh, and you'll have your tab called my meta humans you have your tab called create meta human it might take you straight here on your first visit you've got a few few starting points for your characters which you can pick from the left here um, uh, on the right here, you can use right click to move around. You can press the scroll wheel in to go up and down. You can zoom with the scroll wheel. As you can see, the level of detail on this is crazy. To go next, when you've got a base, uh, it starts with this nice idle animation, but I would say good to pause this. It goes into an A pose. Uh, and then use the tabs down here to change between blend, move and sculpt. I usually just use move and sculpt really. It's quite an intuitive way to play with these values. Something that's new to MetaHuman 5 is studio settings. So you've got all different lighting scenarios. You can look at how your palettes with your hair colour and skin colour and makeup, how these react to different lighting setups really. Another feature that is new to MetaHuman 5 is foundation. So you can get quite a nice subsurface scattering kind of look with this stuff. I am going to just go a bit nuts with the texturing at a later stage. So the textures I'm not even going to use that much. Hair colour is another new feature for the new MetaHuman. You can enable hair dye. So you got a lot more of a interesting range of hair colours. And in this kind of dyed look, you know, it's not unrealistic. It's got roots and everything. Um, head size is another thing that's new to the new update. So you can meddle with that a little bit. Um, so once you're done meddling with that, you can go back to my meta humans. And the next stage will be to download your MetaHuman into Unreal. So we'll cover that in the next video. Cheers.